you can tell from this rotation that New Day are just a bunch of you know, they're just a bunch of guys who like to have fun. And that's why in this battle pack review, I'll show you why these two figures are pretty great. New Day, big fans of Uptown Funk, stop! Get it? That's a part of the song. Whatever, I'm starting. Here's the rotation. You can see both Kofi and Biggie doing their rotation thing. This is nice packaging, although it is going to change soon and become, I think, red? Uh, maybe even blue or yellow, I don't know. But they're changing it up. There's the back. You can see this is a great series of battle packs. One that I'm very excited to open and finally review. Look at that booty. Yes, this is the first time ever I'm starting the rotation on the booty because that's kind of a New Day's thing, is it not? They like booty. They have booty. Booty, 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 booty. Um, and now that, now that it's back to the front, we can see that they come with their greatest accessory ever, the stop sign that they use so often. I think, don't, don't hold me accountable for this. I think they both have new faces and the rest is repainted. Kofi, I love his attire. It's great detail for an for just like a battle pack, and this is the kind of detail I'd like to see on an elite. I wonder if we will get a new day elite. That's something they didn't announce or show at Ringside Fest. Biggie comes with a new face. It's a bit too smiley. I think a better paint job could make this work because I definitely see him in the sculpt, but I think the paint lets us down. Also, the stop sign accessory is pretty ridiculous. Kofi has some tattoos. Unfortunately, he has long hair, so sometimes it's a bit difficult to rotate his head, but you can do it. You can do it very well and then see his tattoos, and as I mentioned, the paint on his attire is gorgeous. Now let's look at the stop sign, the greatest accessory since traffic cones. It's a stop, and on the back it says M for the Miz. Now, Biggie Langston, uh, it shows the New Day logo. He's very happy. He's a very happy man, arms raised in the air. And, of course, because this is a battle pack, there is a lot of paint flaws, quality issues. Haven't said paint flaws in quite a while, right? Wow, wow, Tommy's on a roll. But I think, overall, this is a definitive battle pack. Tag teams often do well with battle packs. That's kind of like the point of getting them. Uh, and here, I think Mattel did a good job. Personally, though, I bet we're going to see this as a Kmart 3 pack with the Xavier Woods that's coming out very soon. Do you think so? Let me know in the comments. Also, do you do that New Day clap? Because if you do, you're a mark. WWE created that clap, Xavier Woods, and if you do that clap, you're just another puppet being controlled by Vince McMahon's anti Seamus campaign. It's a fact. Look it up. Hashtag Seamus conspiracy. So whether New Day rocks or New Day sucks, I think we can all agree that Seamus needs to be pushed more. Thank you for watching this review. Hello, I'm from America. I eat bacon cheeseburgers. Sorry, I hope if you're from America you're not offended. But if you are, watch that video because I offend people left and right.